Hey everyone, this is your CNC HD and welcome back to another mission. This time we have China Mission 1 created by UP4884 and let's have a look at the intro. The big okay, so we're looking at the very simple intro here, but nicely done by UP4884. We can see that we are next to a small village and that we are starting with a couple of tanks and a few um, infantry soldiers. We also start with a small base, which looks extremely good designed, I have to say. Nice um, work here with the texture. Also with the free tile blend work, excellent job. Okay, um, here in this mission we are fighting against a self-made AI, which is uh, very typical for a self-made mission. I'm sending out the tank hunters um, and stopping them in front of the bunker to get the hot bonus and then send them back into the bunker. This way you will have the hot bonus inside of the bunker. That's why I did that, what I just did with the bunker. In this mission I will build a lot of helixes because with the helixes you have the best success to beat this mission. I will, I will drive to the right of the map. Um, for a reason I do not understand right now, because on the top there are more resources to collect. But I maybe I thought about the oil rack on the right and just decided to go to the right. I don't know. So here we have the Eudric and uh, you can take the, the defense out very easy with um, air units like I just did with the helixes. And we can see on the minimap that he is attacking me right now um, in my base with a Scorpion and a Maroda and I stupidly have no anti-tank defense here right now, but it's okay, it's okay, I will survive that. I, I might lose a Gatling turret, but it's okay. So the Eudric is secured, I only need to send the Red Guard or, a, or maybe a Lotus to this position and then I can capture this oil. I really am a big fan of oil directs because I enjoy them more than the supply cash crates. Oil are um, unlimited and you can un get unlimited resources and the supply cash crates you have to protect and they will run out pretty soon. So that's why I'm a big fan of those oil directs. Okay, so yeah, at the top right we can see the base of the GLA. It's um, it's it has a good size, and he's sending troops constantly at us. RPGs, scorpions, the tanks, and some terrorists in the mix. The only annoying troops here are the terrorists. The uh, the, the RPGs. The rest is okay to deal with. Also, lucky us, they have no scorpion rockets. Scorpion rockets are a beast against uh, red guards and tank hunters. We will live in prosperity. What do you have in mind? Tank hunter here. We have big plans. Yeah, what? Let's hold these guns. Building is going to here for now. We will live in prosperity. There's not enough build space. A very good plan, General. Carrying the big gun. Let's fight the tank. The enemy tanks out there fighting for the red. I think this on the right is supposed to be a, a river, but the water looks a bit weird, I think. Um, but if I look at the minimap, I can see a river there. So this is clearly a river, but the water looked a bit different there. 
Not sure what that is, wh uh, why that is. Maybe because of the map any. Not sure. We will nice when we die time. Let all these guns make enough make fly by. What do you have in mind? I'm not going to infiltrate the city in the middle because it's heavily fortified with um, GLA units and to go inside this um, city means you have to lose a lot of troops and I'm not um, going to do this right now, I'm just going for the base straight away. Also in the middle there are a lot of resources to take but I'm okay with the order and a few cash crates there on the right. You have been promoted. They look so small. Make enough time, I. The thing here in the mission is that you can build all units and you have all the general promotions. I would prefer for the uh, for the first China mission to have a limited uh, set of units, for example only Battlemasters, Gatling tanks and uh, a few basic infantry troops. Um, adding the Overlord tank just right at the beginning of mission 1 I think is not that good. If I wanted I could just build Overlord tanks and ruffle stomp the AI here with my Overlords and then just build a nuclear missile silo and get the upgrades and that's it. China's rocket soldier pending attention. I like the big target. Let's fight the tanks. Rapid fire. Tempanutia. On the hunt. Make it to the hunt. China's rocket soldier. Throw everything on the hunt. I'm just a big rocket soldier. Tempanutia. I did build the nuclear launcher because I think I um, don't use that cannon not very often and I also see the new cannon not very often in other videos of other guys. So I thought I will give this a new cannon you know, a try and um, give it a little show here in this uh, mission. Of course the infernal cannon is much better than uh, compared to uh, nu nuclear cannon, but uh, also the nuclear cannon has to shine, so here's the moment it can shine. In this mission I will try to capture the enemy, enemy base completely, because that's what I love to do in um, custom missions, capturing the whole enemy base. Uh, this way you can also find out if the map creator was clever enough to uh, limit the amount of units for the other faction. For example, if you can, as China, only build uh, Gatlings and Battlemasters and then you capture the whole GLA base of the enemy and then you can build um, all units without any limitation. Um, this is a good way to find out those uh, little holes and this will of course make it much easier to beat this mission if you have a complete unit set than by capturing the enemy base. Of course here in this example we have all the units and uh, I just captured the base for uh, fun purposes. What I'm missing in this mission is a little mountain. It's very flat. You don't see any mountains or uh, little cliffs. You don't see any of those. You just see a flat land. But it has a beautiful, uh, beautiful designed uh, terrain. 
So really awesome job there with the free tile blending with the textures. I can't f uh, see a single mistake here with the textures. So really awesome job there. Also the city looks very nice even though we don't see it right now. But if you play this mission you will see that it looks pretty nice. Um, regarding the point if you play this mission, I don't think that I have the um, the rights to share this map, so I will not link you to this map. This is up to the creator to share this mission. So if you want to play this mission, maybe the map creator will let you play it. I'm pretty sure he will comment in the comment section below, so if you see the name up 4884, just feel free to ask him. Maybe he will let you play this mission. Also with capturing all the buildings, you can uh, make sure that the GLA is not rebuilding the whole base over and over and over again. This can get pretty annoying in almost every custom mission because the uh, the map creators always set the buildings to be, re to be rebuilt um, endlessly. I for myself like to do this as well and if you destroy one building the enemy will pop up. The I uh, will throw down the uh, scaffold immediately after you destroyed that. So by capturing the buildings you will prevent that and they will not rebuild that stuff. Something down there. We're going to ruin somebody's day. He looks on the sea. Yeah, what? The Gatling Cannon is ready. The music, by the way, is from Florian Issel, and he mixed that music up. He did the cover and did some overlay with his e-guitar and his drums. So if you want to check out his awesome music channel I will link uh, leave a link down below in the video description which will link you directly to his channel. He has two covers right now for Command and Conquer Zero Hour and he is really skilled when it comes down to making covers. So right now I'm searching for the last building which uh, will give me the Victoria in this mission. Um, can get pretty annoying, I don't know which building it is and I'm right now thinking maybe it is because I captured uh, the uh, enemy buildings. If you just heard a weird background noise, um, my neighbors are messing around here again. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but there was a car driving by uh, the weird sound. Uh, what I wanted to say is um, it's pretty annoying and I think there should be a script that if you have destroyed the main buildings, then the enemy should be defeated. This is just search for the needle. Um, in the haystack and it's pretty annoying. I don't know which building I need to destroy so that I can win this mission. Maybe the artillery platforms? I don't know. So here right now I'm starting to sell my buildings because maybe it is because I have captured the buildings but as we will see now this is not the case and I have to defeat all the units here on this map and it will uh, drag out the video for another two or three minutes, which is a bit annoying. Okay, 
Okay, so we finally have won this mission by destroying all units. Um, this was the first mission out of five and I will now um, cover the other four missions. Really fun mission here by Up4884 and I really enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed it too. Till next time, this is your CNCHD. Bye bye.